Hey everyone, so a lot of you wanted to see a face-off between Sony's flagship from last year, the Xperia Z5, against the flagship from this year, the Xperia XZ. So let's go right to it. I'm going to power both these phones on at the same time. Both these phones are in the latest version of Marshmallow. So the XZ just released this week, the Z5 about a year old now. Biggest difference I would say is the processor, so Snapdragon 820 in the Xperia XZ versus A10 in the Z5. Both do have three gigabytes of RAM, uh, both similar screen sizes, 5.2 inches, 1080p. So this first test, we're just gonna see which one loads up quicker. So I do expect the XZ obviously to win most of the tests. Uh, we'll see what real world usage is because a lot of times you don't get the same results that you see on paper. And so no surprise here, XZ first one to load up. And we don't have any app to open, so good there. Pretty easily winning this, looks like around maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds, maybe a little bit less. Alright, so we're going to go over the app page here. Nothing's open, so we're good. All right, Temple Run 2 first. Special Halloween theme for Temple Run 2 now. And you see here the Xperia XZ looks like it's going to win this test. By about a second or two, looks like. All right, so next up we are going to go to the CNN app. All right, they've got a uh, message there, so it's going to do that again. On the Z5, we've got a message, so it's going to close out going again. All right, so query XZ. I think it did win the first test as well. Uh, it was iFunny. Again, guys, XZ. YouTube. Again, XZ here. So XZ, I did a comparison against the Galaxy Note 7 last night, if you guys want to check that out. Uh, it did very well. No surprise here in the test, a little bit faster on the calculator, even basic apps you can see, clock. I think that was a little faster again on the XE. Uh, eBay. Hard to tell, I think maybe the XZ, but not certain, let's see, Asphalt 8. So some of the other specs, the XZ does have a much improved front facing camera, 13 megapixels versus 5 on the Z5. Rear facing both are 23, although again, you do have upgrades on the XZ, including things like image stabilization. Uh, you see here, loading up Asphalt 8 very quickly. Easily winning this as well. Internal storage, 32 or 64 gigabytes on the Xperia XZ versus 32 on the Z5. Both do have micro SD card support. Um, let's see photos. Again, guys, XZ. I think it's won pretty much everything so far. Let's do ESPN. So the ESPN app, a little bit slow tonight. But still fast on the XZ. All right, so there's a couple more, then we'll get to more tests, so let's go into settings. Um, I did run in Tudu, I'll show you guys the results. So the Xperia Z5, now this was a very high score for last year, 92,403. But as you see, really exceptional score here on the XZ, 144,640. So this comes more into terms when you're gonna be playing high-end games. Gonna definitely be seeing better performance on the XZ. 
And that score right up there with any other high-end Android phone you have. I will say the iPhone 7, 7 Plus got excellent scores around 170, I think close to 180,000. Although for Android, this is one of the highest that you'll get. Um, let's do, we'll do Chrome in a minute. Let's do the camera app. So I will have a full comparison on my channel shortly, but for now, it's going to take some pictures. Alright, so as you see, clearly the XZ faster taking pictures, although there was tied. There, the Z5 was a little faster. Although all the other ones... Alright, that was kind of weird. Not sure why it closed out on the Z5. Let me go back in there. Take a few more. Yeah, so... XE looks like faster, although sometimes it's a little closer, sometimes the Z5 a little bit faster, but overall the XE faster taking pictures. And again, I will have a full comparison on my channel. Uh, let's go into Chrome, see some web browsing stuff. Let's go to a couple sites that I've been to. Let's go to IGN. Oops, I messed it up. All right, um, let me go to another one. Let me go to Nintendo. And I will show you guys the design in a minute, the background. All right, so fast to here on the XZ, uh, Yahoo. And then I'll go to a site that I haven't been to on either. Alright, so again guys, XZ, XZ really winning almost every test I think, maybe, might have been one where the Z5 won, but as you guys can see, the XZ doing excellent here, um, I think one site that I haven't been to, saw some flowers on the table, I'll do that. Alright. Flowers.com and again XZ. So XZ really doing excellent here. Um, now one of the things that the XZ, the American version, doesn't have is a fingerprint scanner. Uh, so if you flash your phone, you can have access to that. I looked up the guide. I mean, it looks like it would probably take around 10-15 minutes, maybe a little longer, maybe less for people who are experienced with it. Personally, I'm lazy. I don't feel like doing that. Although I will say that the X performance does have the same, um, so this is the X performance, has the same fingerprint scanners on the XZ. So let's compare them. Oh, you know, it's, see, this is, this is the only thing I don't like about where the fingerprint scanner is located. It's really hard to do both at the same time. All right. Well, so we can try doing it. So as you guys see, the X performance a little bit faster. Yeah, so again guys, the, X the XZ is going to be just as fast, if not faster than that. So the fingerprint scanner is also faster than the XZ. And what I found is the X performance fingerprint scanner more accurate. Um, let's look at some more of the specs. So I already went over a while, went over camera performance. Um, so... Both do have 3GB RAM, Snapdragon 820 versus 810, which I covered. Uh, both have stereo speakers. I will have a full comparison on my channel shortly. Both are waterproof, IP68 certified. Really glad they bought that, brought that back because some of the other Xperia phones this year don't have that. Um, both, all right, so in terms of connectivity, Z5, you're getting micro USB. Uh, on the XZ, you're getting USB Type-C, you see there. So newer technology on the XZ there. Um, also designed pretty different, I'll show you that in a second. One of the big things though is the price tag. So the Xperia Z5, much better value in my opinion. It's 450 now. The Xperia XZ just released around 700. So from what I've seen so far, I definitely prefer the XZ, although it is hard to say that it's worth 
you know, extra $250 or so. Um, but I will be covering it more, obviously, throughout the next months. So I'll have a better understanding if it is indeed worth that difference. Now let's look at the back of the phones. So on the XZ, you're getting uh, glass, rather on the Z5, you're getting the glass back, frosted glass back, and you're getting metal on the XZ. Personally, I do like the design more on the XZ. Really beautiful, you see this blue color. And you also see here on the camera, so you do have better stabilization. That's what this part is right here. Also at the top here and at the bottom, you see on the XZ, you do have a tubular design. Much nicer around the edges. The Z5, a little bit rough right here, for example. Here, much more smooth, much smoother. Uh, the bottom is the same tubular design. So, yeah, guys, I do definitely prefer... I mean, both are pretty similar in all honesty, but I do prefer the XZ design. Um, so, yeah, guys, I mean, again, it is hard saying if it's worth upgrading. Um, personally, just from what I've seen the first couple of days of owning it, the Z5, the XZ is certainly better than the Z5. So again, some of those advantages, you're getting 13 megapixel front facing camera instead of five. Uh, rear facing camera has improvements, which I'll show on my channel. You do have 64 gigabyte version in terms of internal storage. The big one, you have a Snapdragon 8, uh, 820 instead of 810. Um, fingerprint scanners improve, USB type C, designs better in my opinion. And there's also some smaller stuff. Um, but the big thing you saw from this video is that overall the XZ is simply a lot faster. So some of that does have to do with the Snapdragon 820, some of it also has to do with Sony's optimizations. But regardless of the reason, you are getting a better phone with the XZ. So yeah everyone, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be having a lot more content, a lot more comparisons in the future, so please subscribe for that. And thanks again for watching.